Things are changing. Mindsets, attitudes, the culture. It's happening across campus, in every corner of the Hale Center, and every facet of the Rutgers football program. You hear it at Book Check every day. See it with Chop for Change and an entire team registering and eager to vote. And feel it. On the field, some of the most exciting play on the Big Ten stage. This week on the Rutgers Football Story. It's just such a great story of a team that's come from the ground and built themselves up. Not only in one football game, he's changed the culture for a college, a university, and a state. You can already sense the change in the attitude around the RU football program. Jubilation in Piscataway. He's done it before. He's built his team to believe. You have to respect Jersey. This campus is in a football frenzy. And now to come back and be a member of the Big Ten Conference, it's incredible. Well, it's Scarlet Fever here in New Jersey. Racing for the biggest moment ever. An example, if you fly into a team, how much it can benefit you. Go, 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 go. A sun-drenched Piscataway, New Jersey. This is Rutgers Countdown to kick off as the Scarlet Knights uh, come back home following their victory on the road in East Lansing a week ago as they come home this afternoon, continuing obviously in Big Ten play to take on the Hoosiers of Indiana. The year like no other continued at SHI Stadium. On the surface, it may have looked like the players were alone. A closer look reveals the bonds the brotherhood, students, mentors, teachers, united in purpose, in football on the field, in life away from it. Coach was back home once again on the familiar turf with his Rutgers family. And you didn't have to look hard to see the positive vibe he brought back with him. A new attitude and culture. There were reminders of it everywhere. To be seen and heard. Hey, today you gotta go harder than them, longer than them. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Harder than them, longer than them. You gotta do that, chop. Chop, chop, you got me! Yes, Get your mind ready to do that! And Shiano era 2.0, there was a different swag on the field. You could see there was a different walk, Chris. There was a different attitude, the lean. Rutgers coming home 1-0 on the season, taking on the 17th ranked Indiana Hoosiers. Time for a Big Ten Conference battle. Both teams were coming off of big opening wins, and the state of Rutgers noticed. Watch party electricity away from the action with limited friends and family inside the stadium. But the common thread, all were anxious to see early season football in late October. Scott submarine. What a play by Ula Kunle Fanakasi, the co Big Ten player of the week. And Indiana will be forced to punt. Poised and prepared, they pounced. The Scarlet Knights would strike first. All day in the pocket, throwing for oh. Melton. He's got it inside the five and takes it in for the score. What a fantastic pass, pay dirt. It's a habit that hopefully will continue. For the second straight game, Rutgers scored first. The Hoosiers managed the field goal, but the Scarlet Knights' tenacious defense made the lead stand into the second quarter. Quarterback keep, no running room at all. But that tenacity was about to be tested. Here comes a blitz, the ball's in the air. Intercepted, picked off. Well, all of a sudden, the Hoosiers have the football at the Rutgers five yard line. Fogel makes the catch, but short of the goal line. Now he's up, now he has the touchdown signal raised. Working with a short field, Indiana was able to gain the end zone and take the lead. But as a full Halloween moon started to rise over SHI Stadium, so did the Scarlet Knights defense. Once again, 
They kept Indiana out of the end zone. Oh, A third and short. They crushed them. Another big collision. But Indiana has turned three Rutgers turnovers into points. Scarlet Knight offense has to get a little bit of a jump start, to say the least. And they did just that. One thing about these Scarlet Knights, when things are not going their way, they do not waver. They rolled up their sleeves in the third quarter and forged an impressive 10-play drive. Turn it on the Jets! There goes k -Rod. He's got it for the Rutgers touchdown! So Rutgers is going to go for two here to try to make it a one-score game. Federal to throw, throws right. Pacheco's got it to the 10. Pacheco to the 5. Oh. Dives for the pylon. Did he get it? He did! And it is good. What an effort from Isaiah Pacheco. And the Scarlet Knights have cut it to a one-score game. Indiana answered in a typical Big Ten slugfest. But Rutgers showed they were not content with just playing the game. They attacked the game. They went for it on fourth down four times. They went after two-point conversions, and they produced a successful onside kick. They were going to do everything they could to win. And if they didn't, they would go down swinging. A culture and attitude rehearsed on the practice field, coming to life under the lights of the Big Ten stage. Pairing for an onside boot from Davidovitz. Oh, he's Takes got that funny hop, it's there. As they scramble for it, Rutgers says they have it. Unbelievable. And they do. Scarlet Knights, heartbeat is still beating. You definitely see a difference in terms of hanging in there and the fact that they've been able to continue to fight throughout the course of the game. And... Vedral dumps it underneath the Shameen Jones. They want a little lateral play here. Hey, big fella, Raekwon O'Neal, take this. <laughs> oh my goodness, watch out. Still keeps it this going, watch chance. out! They do practice this. It was a play for the ages. Replayed across the internet, on SportsCenter, on the nightly and even morning news, ultimately called back due to a forward lateral. Bo Milton on the business end of the most amazing play you may ever see. While it didn't put points on the board, it showed the creativity, grit, and attitude rising on the banks. This has got to be a fist fight, you hear me? No, no, this has no. got to be a fist fight. Oh, yeah. Today, you got to go harder than them, longer than them. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Harder than them, go longer than them. You got to do that. Chop, chop, chop. You got me. Yes, sir. Get your mind ready to do that. Chop on three. One, two, three. Chop. And hey, let's go. Chop on three. Chop on three. One, two, three. Chop. They're coming to our house and try to take what's ours. Now you just can't leave. Man, we have three. One, two, three. Bam. Let's go get it. Ready, go. Go. What just happened? You have to be kidding me. What's going through your mind during that? That final desperation play when Bo gets to the end zone. Vedral dumps it underneath to Shameen Jones. They want a little lateral play here for Bo Melton. They'll keep it hot for Vedral. Once more, hey, big fella, Raekwon O'Neal, take this. Oh my goodness, watch out. Still no whistles. Shameen Jones cuts it back inside. He's just tripped up. Ball still live. Vedral. Still keeps it this going. Watch out! There are no whistles. There are no flags. This counts. Yeah, uh, we practice our last play a lot in practice. I think it's something we work, you know, in practice every single day. You know, we're prepared for those type of moments. Coach Shano does a good job getting us prepared for situational football, and you know, we practice that play. That's one of our end of game plays. So how many times do you watch a game and see guys go down with the ball? I mean, you see it all the time. Play like that, you just can't go down with the ball. Um, if you go down with the ball, the game ends or... And they refuse to go down with the ball. We just keep playing hard to the whistle, you know. We're just gonna fight, fight and keep fighting every day and just keep going out there and executing the plan that coach gives us.
Unfortunately, they reviewed it and uh, they took the touchdown off of the board. I wish it would have counted. I couldn't tell you if that was a forward pass or how do I know? I think it was definitely cool to see live. I feel like we're fundamentally sound and those are things that we work on stuff like that for moments like this to happen. They really executed it. I thought it was a tremendous effort. By the way, we just go out there and practice, we practice hard, we play hard. We're just going to keep going and um, prepare for moments like this. We're going out there and we're playing to win. And I promise these kids that. And as hard as they work, they deserve that. Coach Yano knew what he was doing when he recruited. There's one thing he told me before. He said, friend, uh, when you're hiring coaches and people, you can't just go and grab stuff and put it out. You got to make sure it all fits together like a puzzle. He is an attention to detail guy. It's not about one knockout shot. It's about that first shot, but it's about your feet accelerating and your thumb staying here. Who expe expects his coaches and his players to hold that same level of attention to detail and focus on everything they're doing. And um, the standard never changes. They have been an absolute turnover machine on defense. It's toughness, it's perseverance, uh, it's focus. Those are things that we're working on, whether it's in the meeting room, it's on the field, uh, constantly working to improve each other. It starts with our culture. And it, it's family, it's trust, and it's child. You gotta be able to put others before yourself. Forget about me. I love you. Constantly messaging that to our guys in different ways. It's all over the building. It's something that not only the players uh, can live by, but the, but the coaching staff as well, and it, it's really hit home for me. What I want you to really focus on right now is chop your job. One, two, three, chop! Not just the best football coach, but the best men. And the best men to be able to lead these kids that we have here right now, these student athletes that are men that are trying to go and win a championship and go win in the world, go play in the National Football Leagues. I can't wait to watch this culture live and breathe on the field. All day in the pocket, throwing for oh. Melton, he's got it! Rutgers touchdown! I feel really comfortable with the human beings, but I feel really comfortable with the value system that's being built in this in this program. It's gonna do immense things for you. It's gonna push you to a level, not only where you think you could get to, but I think Rutgers will push you past that. Everybody that's not here right now, you wouldn't have this opportunity. Don't allow that guy next to you to do it more than you are. Make sure that you're competing and be the best at what, what you're doing it. But when he's doing it, pick him up. If you see him slacking somewhere, get him up. We need guys here that are gonna have mental toughness and also physical toughness. And can you persevere through anything that's thrown your way? Because we all know in life, adversity is going to strike, but it's how you respond to it. So we know it's going to be a dog fight. Let's go eat. Come on, let's get it. Let's get it. On the attack. On the attack. Uh, it's about having a relationship with these guys. Them knowing that, obviously, we're, we're well prepared as coaches, but they're all, we're also going to help prepare them for life off the field. That's what this is really about. It, it is building men. It's, it's allowing them to be the very best that they can be in all areas of their life. It's what I'd want my son to be a part of is this culture and this program. And Open field and a touchdown! That, that's gonna shine for all eyes to see. Dodge for the pylon, did he get it? He did! It's not just the three, four, five years that they're here playing, it's, it's for the rest of your life when you commit to Rutgers. It was seven takeaways last week, none this week, and they had three. Three that led to, I think, 17 points. Two of them inside our, you know, 25 yard line. So that's uh, very hard to overcome, but it's where we find ourselves. So we're running out of firsts, right? We had our first win together. Today we had our first loss together. And uh, I do love the way they compete. I love the way they keep, keep straining and as we say, keep chopping. And we'll build this thing the right way. And I believe in our guys. They, they stuck to the plan throughout. But it's certainly, it's disappointing. I just think we got to keep working. That's all it is. Um, a lot of plays out there. And really the biggest thing is that we got to go in there, watch the film, and just keep practicing and keep getting better every day. They did a good job. I mean, it was a good team. We just got to get better and just and keep chopping and keep fighting. Towards the end of the game, we started to swing harder. The effort and the, the you know, the schemes and all that that we had the, the second half, we should have did the first half and stuff like that. But, you know, he's got to come back, bounce back, uh, chop, and get ready for this week. I think Coach Cleese does a great job giving us chances to win and giving us uh, some plays that are going to help us get those chances. So it's fun as a player. I think you can ask anybody. It's kind of fun when that stuff's in the game plan. You get a little excited when it gets called. So I think he does a good job making sure, one, we have it prepped, and two, we know what to do with it in, in case it's not there. We're going out there and we're playing to win. 
So if it means going on fourth down, if it means going for two, if it, whatever it means, uh, that's, that's what we're going to do. And I promise these kids that. And as hard as they work, they deserve that. From an offense, um, as a quarterback, it makes you feel good um, to know that, hey, they believe in us even when things aren't going the best. So it's really, really, really positive to have a coach that's behind you like that. And he's a great coach, and we're uh, very lucky to have him. So the biggest thing for us to do you know, this week is keep chopping the moment, you know, keep, keep looking at the game plan that they give us, and keep finding ways you know, to create turnovers and create takeaways. But you know, don't force it. Keep doing your job, and let the plays come to you. You know, we have to become consistent. We do some things to move the football at times that are exciting. At other times, you know, that's a good defense. And as you saw by the result today, Michigan State's a good team too, right? So we played two good teams and I gotta, you know, I think you all know this, but every week you play in the Big Ten, you're playing a good team. So get ready. Book check. Book check. Big week, baby. Good luck. Book check is when we meet with the academic advisors to make sure that we are on top of our schoolwork and on top of our tutorings and stuff like that. So, you know, we're not behind. And we do that because, you know, we want everybody to be on, on, on their stuff, making sure that we're getting our schoolwork done and be successful. I will make that request. Let's see if we can get that done. So book check is what starts off your day. As a responsible football player, student, student athlete, it tells you what you got for your day and everything that you got after that. So once you know what you got for your day, you can get your mind right to chop everything else that you got for the day, besides practice. Okay, so you have a whole week for that? Yeah. Are you gonna start it tonight or just take a look? I just like it because it keeps me in check, you know what I mean? Uh, they make sure that like throughout the day we have like different, we, we complete our different tasks that we have and make sure on time for class and tutoring. It's class schedules, any assignments that you have to do that's coming up throughout this whole week. So it's, it's a really good way of you getting on top of stuff. And say if you know you're gonna be in the building late one day, you know, you, you, your schedule will let you know that, and then now you can jump on top of it, and now you get that work done. So now you don't gotta worry about it. You can just focus on your game. Ready, go! My book check was good. Uh, you know, I, I, have, I have a tutoring at 3.30, lift at 2.15, so it's gonna be a little tight, but we gonna get it done. And after that, I got tutoring from 7.30 to 8.15. All right, Tuesday, what do we got? I'm gonna stay for my quiz tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, it opens at 6.30 tomorrow. Tomorrow night? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna study for that? Yeah. It gives you the ability to never be surprised. And it gives you the ability to know what you have and, and, and know how to prepare for it. That's the one thing that I like about it a lot. I don't like to go back home after practice and then find out that I have, you know, a paper due. I would like to know that the paper is due that day. And then before that day even comes, I get ready for it and then I can hand it in on time. I feel like everybody needs a time management sheet whether you're a football player or you're in the corporate world. Everybody needs a schedule, everybody needs an agenda just so they don't get piled up on. So I think that's a great thing. Cool. Yes, sir. Maya, what's good, baby? What's up, bro? Chillin'. Quarter scoreless at SHI Stadium. Vedrill sets his feet, good pocket. Loops this one, on target, touchdown! You know, Rutgers has a, a special place in my heart. Uh, you know, the number one reason I came back is because of our head football coach, Greg Schiano. He is the, the man that, that can get this thing going in the right direction, and he's going to do it the right way. His purpose of helping our young men be the very best that they can be, it being the number one goal in the program, allowing us to go out and coach and develop these young men the way they need to be to help them accomplish their dreams and goals. If I'm an end or an R, what man on the line of scrimmage do I got to find? Second. Second man. Urgency, urgency, urgency. Two base. Wink, get everybody else over here. You're a wink. Give me a wink to the field. If you don't have to wake up, I want you to rip and go. There's got a center in this league that can block you when you do that. Your C grab C on him. You got to two gap him. Let's go. Live up front. Stay on your block. If you can beat him in the B gap, beat him. If you feel like he's blocking you, counter into the A. You have the box, hey. all the bluff blocks. Everything is fanatical today. Dion's got the point. Battle, deploy him. Run off, run off, nice job. Attitude, attitude, attitude. 
Let's get home and get our what? Get your job! Get your job! Get to our landmarks, landmarks! You're gonna make the play, right? You're setting the edge on the defense, correct? Set the edge! They need a touchdown. Let's go win the game. Fourth and game. Yes! Get home! Get home! Looking forward to uh, to going out to Columbus and, and taking on a very, very good Ohio State team. Yeah, we're so young in the stage right now of building the program that we, we need to improve in every area. But we did some good things. That's what's encouraging. You know, we're going to build on the things we did well. We're certainly going to work on the things we didn't do so well. Um, but the best part that I enjoy is watching how hard the guys play, how hard they work. The culture's growing by the day. You know, unless it's the last game of the year, you got to get ready for the next one. It's a national game every week in this league. Um, I think Jay Butler, the job that he did from the day he got hired till now is really paying dividends. We're truly in the phase of where we're building our program and the best players will play as long as all things are equal off the field. And that's really how we approach it. And if you're a freshman, you're playing. And if you're not, well, that's, that's okay too. We're not where we wanna be, but we, we really, I think are making strides. But if, if they've put in the work and they're still part of this program, those are my guys and we're here to win. We're going to do everything we can to help them win. Um, certainly, I have my eye on the long, the long goal. That's for sure. But uh, these guys are paying a price. They deserve, really deserve, everything we got. So that's what they're getting. Uh, you know, it'll be a little different because it won't be 108,000 people. You know, it won't be the the gala of college football that that happens in our conference. But it's still a tremendous opponent. And as you mentioned, it's it's in prime time, and that, that makes it special for our kids, I think. So I'm looking forward to competing. Our guys are, they work, you know, like I said, they, they picked themselves up after a tough loss, dusted themselves off, and really worked hard today. And that, you know, as a coach, that's what you look for. You know, how are they gonna respond? And uh, there's choices there. You know, everybody said, well, they, you know, we had a tremendous, tremendous group uh, that went out and practiced today, and that was that was really encouraging. All right, guys. Thanks. Appreciate you.